Two creepy things I have experienced. Disclaimer. I'm not some paranormal believer, but I don't think that some other higher power doesn't exist. All of these stories are things that I have experienced and that I can't explain and on top of that I am a very skeptical person about a lot of these things. I live in the Netherlands so there can be some bad grammar. Story 1 Around 2011 my parents bought an old house with three floors and a big basement in a small town in Germany close to Hameln. The house was originally built in 1850 and was used by hunters to store their kills which were mostly deer, boar and rabbits. They did the skinning, disemboweling, etc. in the basement and whenever I was down there I felt uneasy, even when I was with other people. The house was located next to a retirement home where a lot of nuns lived. The nuns always walked around the town and the forest and were very kind and had a lot of stories to tell about life. Fast forward to 2014, the retirement home was slowly gonna go empty and all the nuns started to move away. Since that the forest and town started to feel way less warm and that made me visit the house less than normal. One time when I visited right after the last nuns left town, I went to the forest with my dog, Belgian Malinois, and the entire time I felt a feeling of being watched. I noticed that my dog was also looking around way more than usual and I just felt a feeling of unease. At a certain point after walking for a few hours my dog stopped dead in his tracks and looked with his ears pointed to a point on the path about 10 meters before us, all his hairs were standing up as if he was in danger. He started slowly walking to the point he was looking at as I walked next to him. Usually whenever he sees a wild animal he just tries to run after it, but he never reacted like that before. He was looking at the same spot as if something was there, I started to feel a cold chill and the feelings of uneasiness and being watched started to grow stronger and stronger. At that point when we were about 3 meters before the spot my dog was looking at I decided that it would be the best choice to just walk away. Still I don't know what my dog saw what I couldn't see, but it creeps me out whenever I think about it. Story 2, in the Netherlands, I went to a sleepover with three other people that a classmate organized at her home. The classmate's home was built at around 1904 and she always talked about how she sometimes heard sounds of doors opening and closing or people walking around while she was home alone. I suggested we'd do a session of Ouija, just for fun and to see if anything would happen. I already knew about what made the lens move while doing Ouija, something like unregistered muscle movement, so I thought nothing special would happen. When I arrived the classmate and another friend already arrived so we started getting everything ready quickly as the last friend who had yet to arrive really doesn't like anything with paranormal stuff. I suggested we'd place lit candles around the house as to really make the atmosphere creepy. I placed lit candles in every room of the house, closed all the windows and made some movement sensitive objects, a feather hanging from a fishing line and a needle attached to a piece of wood floating in water. We started the session in the classmates room and nothing happened. We started it again asking if anyone was there and again nothing but when we did it the third time we got a reply yes, we asked for a name, I don't remember the name but I think it was something like, Nico, we asked about some more questions but when we asked where are you the lens suddenly went to goodbye and we all heard someone going down the stairs rapidly. As I was the only guy I had to be brave. I grabbed the only weapon available which was a pair of scissors and I opened the door to the hall. All the candles in the hall and on the stairs died and were still smoking, I felt a feeling of danger in my entire body but I started to go down the stairs with the two others behind me. As we got downstairs I saw that all the candles leading to the basement had died, the basement is uncomfortably small and claustrophobic. I decided that it would be stupid to open the basement door and as we were discussing what to do the last guest arrived so we acted as if nothing happened, 
still I can't explain these things and it sounds like it came from a horror movie and is unrealistic. I guess some things are not to be explained logically. The stories may sound unrealistic and cliché to some people and I can get that because I normally don't believe in the paranormal but many stories like these may prove that there may at least be something of a higher power. I don't know, it is up to yourself to believe your beliefs or question them.